All right, let's take a tour through this Airtable app for product content and merchandising. With this app, you can use AI to generate key product content like name ideas and descriptions for your PDPs across hundreds or thousands of SKUs. You can use AI to curate those lines of products into distinct thematic combinations to generate new merchandising ideas. And you can visualize those combinations using AI generated imagery to create realistic lifestyle shots showing your products in different contexts. So we'll start our tour here on the interface layer. So in Airtable, we have the data layer, which is where our key information actually lives. We have the automations layer, which controls key uh, logic within the app, and then interfaces, which is where we visualize and interact with the data. So uh, we're here on the interface, previewing it as an end user of the app would. If we wanna see the full end user experience, we just hit launch up here and we uh, remove all those editing abilities. And then if we wanna go back, just hit edit pages up here. But this is where we can have a look at some of the sample data in this app and see what's going on. So here on the interface, we're looking at these themes that have been curated for all of the different products in this product line associated with this season. And within each of these themes, we have a curated theme description. We have some imagery that's been generated by AI. And that's been done by looking at all of the products associated with this season and coming up with these distinct themes. And then we have AI agents that uh, generate the art direction for an actual image and go ahead and actually generate that. So let's look at what that looks like start to finish. So I'm here on the products table within the data layer and I'm actually just going to drag and drop a set of on white images directly into Airtable here using this little tray that comes out on the bottom. So these are uh, truly just on white images of several products that are part of this product line. What I see happen, as soon as all of those records are created, we have this first field agent that kicks off and it is called description from image. And look what's happening here inside this prompt. So we have given this agent specific instructions to look at the image provided and provide a bunch of detail about details about this product, what it would be used for, who it would be for, different contexts that we may want to represent it in. And it's gonna return this full profile for each product. So the powerful part here is within Airtable, we're able to do this at scale and we're able to provide the actual image file here as context for this agent. So if you look here, we're giving these inputs, the product ID, which is just gonna be that first column and then the actual photo itself. So now that field agent is hard at work. I've also gone ahead and given each product a simple product ID. So uh, by default, this will just take the name of the file for the image that you upload. Uh, in this example, I've just given it a nice little three digit ID, uh, AL for athleisure in this case. Uh, and look at what this field agent has just come back with. So for every single product, look at what we have now. We have all this enriched data about who it might be for, uh, about the detailed physical description of that product. And we're gonna use all of this to now power our product content and merchandising processes. So now that we have that, let's kick off another agent. So let's use the output of that first agent to kick off this one. This one is gonna write a description that is more of a copywriting description designed for our PDP. And so the input might be something like a uh, much more plain and straightforward description of the product, as well as some ideas on its potential uses and context and target users. And then the output, which has just come in here, is gonna be much more of that copywriting style. So if I click into that prompt, you can see that we have passed in, the, as input, the description from the image. So now this is happening across every record in this Airtable app by inserting the field from this record into the prompt we're able to chain together the output of one agent, this first one that we call description from image into description copywriter. And then again, look at this, at scale in this structured format, we now have PDP ready descriptions for each of our products. And all of these prompts are completely editable as well. So if you wanna put in other examples or other brand guidelines that are specific to you, you can come in here and edit this prompt directly and give more context to that field agent. And we do the exact same thing here for name ideas. So we regularly hear from customers in the retail or D2C or e-commerce space that they're introducing hundreds of products regularly and they're constantly challenged to come up with new names for those products that they haven't used before, or maybe that their competitors haven't used either. And it can get quite tedious to come up with, uh, with clear but novel names every single time. 
And so exact same idea, if you look here, we've passed in that description from image and we're going to use that to come up with several potential names for every single one of these product SKUs. So already, just from these on-white images, we've generated some very, very valuable data and content at scale. But we're really gonna take it to the next level by uh, generating themes out of this assortment of products. So the thing we need to make sure is in place is we need to make sure all the products we're interested in here are associated with a given season. And so if I just select season here once, I can copy that and then just highlight all of these cells exact same way you would do in a spreadsheet and make sure that that value right there for all of them becomes spring, summer, athleisure line. So now we've got all of these products associated with a given season. This is a key Airtable concept here called linked records. So we have the products table, we have the seasons table, and we are going to be establishing here a formal relationship between this product and this season. So if we go over to the season now, if we look at spring, summer, athleisure line, we can see all of these products are now associated with that season. And so once that's in place, we can now do some really exciting things with theming. So we're gonna head back to the interface tab now, and we're gonna to head to this interface under themes by season. So we're selecting the season that we're interested in, in this case, spring, summer, athleisure line. And again, we can see here now in a much more visual way on the interface, all of the products that are associated with this season. And now comes the exciting part, which is gener generating these merchandising ideas. So we'll just click this button right here, generate themes. And what that's going to do is kick off a process where AI is looking across all of these products and all of the detail that we generated about each one of them. And just like an expert in the field of merchandising would do, they are looking for distinct, compelling, relevant themes and ways to group those products together to really bring them to life and make them feel compelling to a potential customer. So right away, we see these actual themes start to pop in. The images take a moment longer, but we see the themes themselves and that structure already coming into play. So we see the name of the theme and all of the SKUs that this AI agent has decided to include into this curation. We see a description of that theme that uses all of the product level description. And then after a moment, we'll see these images pop in. And here we see that now, just like the products were linked to the season, the products are also now linked to this specific theme. So we have all of these individual products that are gonna to start to come together and form these curated themes for us. And we can see how each of them has this description and these very specific references to, uh, to each item in the product line. Uh, then prior to generating the image, we also have this AI agent here called Art Director which is going to write the actual instructions for that AI image generation. So we're not just passing all of these on white images to the image generation agent directly and saying, hey, make something great. First, we're coming up with art direction based on the theme of this, uh, this kind of line. And we are going to pass that paragraph of direction into the image generation agent. And then those images start to come in. So I wanna take you under the hood just to understand how those themes are generated. So we have an automation here that is triggered when that button on the interface is clicked. And that automation is gonna go do a few things. First, it's going to build out a list of all of the products in this season. So it's going to actually look at all of that data associated with each, uh, with each product. Then that allows us to provide that as input to an AI agent that's actually going to generate those themes. We've given some instructions here on the right, as you can see, to this agent to make sure that those themes are distinct enough from each other. You're using a product um, at least once. There's a certain number of products that we ask for per theme uh, and so on. And then there is some specific formatting that we ask for. So we want this agent to return a short name for this theme followed by the list of SKUs that it is going to curate into this theme. And then after that, use a comma. Getting the text back from AI in this format in Airtable is what actually allows us to drop that in to the linked record field. And Airtable is gonna recognize that comma as the separator between records. So when we go over here onto the seasons table again, I can see here that the season, the athleisure line season, is associated with 
uh, several of these themes. Each of those themes came through as a record. And the name of that theme is that short name with all the data about each SKU. Then we have uh, another agent, which I'll show right here, that is living directly on the themes table. And it's just gonna look at that full name and pull that list of SKUs comma separated. And then finally, we have this last very simple automation that looks at the text from this, uh, this field right here, products extract, and pastes it over into the products link record table. So that series of automations is how we go from the full list of all of the products, the full set of all products associated with a season into the themes when we generate that button. And then once those themes are created, all those records in the themes table come through, we formally link the products to that theme with this final very simple automation. And so finally we get to see all of the images generated per theme. And this is where things get really exciting because we're actually looking at the real products from this collection uh, in a pretty kind of faithful and, and consistent way that are shown in this theme on models in a lifestyle context. And we've got this kind of narrative around the theme that can help inspire us when we're looking for new ways to showcase our products. So again, here we've got this collection, we are showing that on models in a lifestyle setting, and we can modify these prompts to reflect more of our brand style or our principles directly within Airtable, within the fields where all of those different AI prompts are written out. And for the themes specifically, you can do that here in the automation layer. So that's how we can go from on white product images to these curated and visualized merchandising themes using this Airtable app.